Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. In today's very short video, I want to talk about Lightroom's masking again. I've been receiving some emails. Some photographers are a bit confused. They're not getting the results they expect, specifically when they apply a mask and then they add to or subtract from that mask and then they invert it. They're not seeing the entire mask inverted. And there's a little trick to it in Lightroom. It's not entirely obvious how to get that entire mask to invert. So let me show you. I have this image here. Uh, it's an okay image, right? But let's just say uh, that the lighthouse and the land, I like the brightness of that, but the sky and the water are just a little bit too bright and I want to darken that down. Now, there's several different ways I could do this. One way I could do it though, is I could do a selection of the subject, which would be the lighthouse, add to the selection, which would be the land, and then invert it. And then I'd basically get everything else instead of the lighthouse and the land, and then I could darken it down. So let's do that. We'll get a mask, and we'll select the subject. And you can see it selected part of the land, but not all the land, so I need to add to this subject. So I'll add, and we'll get a brush. And I'm not too concerned about being perfect here. We just want to do it for speed, so we'll get it. Okay, so people select this and they said, great, I have what I don't want adjusted selected. I need to invert it. And they'll go here and there's a very convenient invert check box here. And they'll click it and they'll see that they didn't invert everything. The brush strokes they added to the selection weren't inverted. And at this point, they email me and ask what they're doing wrong. Well, you're really not doing anything wrong. This is just the way Lightroom works. Let me uninvert it. And all you need to do is very simple. Instead of clicking that chalk bar, go up here to, in this case, it says mask one. If this is your second or third mask that you've applied to the image, it will say mask two or mask three and so on. Just click on these three dots and then just click invert mask one. And now you could see it inverted the entire mask. And then we could just go to exposure. And like I mentioned, let's say I just want to make it darker, the entire image darker. So that's one way, of course, to do it using masks. There are a lot of other ways I could have done this, but I wouldn't have been able to demonstrate the problem that people are encountering when they invert a mask in Lightroom. So that's why I did it this way. So hopefully this helps you better understand how masks work in Lightroom and help you better utilize them with your photography. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.